Actually, I don't know. So we have no way of breaking the waylay here. Which is pretty insane when you think about it. Wait, what? Didn't we mulligan away too? Hello? Oh god. <sighs> I, I cannot... This is... This is gonna be really... <sighs> That's... Skill check. Skill check. Skill check. Okay, one skill check. Okay, please. <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> oh, one skill check. One skill check. Okay, okay. Um... Oniromancy Moonro. Okay, we need... We need... We need... We need... We need Moonro though. Okay. I have, like, okay, what's the worst thing here? What's, like, the worst thing? <gasps> skill check? Oh my god, skill check. Thank goodness I didn't use that one card. Oh my god, actual skill check. Look at this, guys. I cannot believe it. All right, how's it going, guys? Digitikos here, and I am back with another banger list. Today, we're going to be playing Guerrilla Tactics with Standard, um, Scoyotel, Erendite, Melva, and the um, Vanadine package with the Zoltan package. So, yeah, Zoltan, Moon, uh, Zoltan Warrior and Moonro with um, the Dwarf and Chariot and Zoltan's Company makes for a really good value play, and I think um it's just a shame not to play it in every squid deck this card is really good the same goes for Simulus and the uh, venadane waylay combo is also very very good venadane being able to um generate two cards uh, two extra cards for Simulus, and um you know essentially making your cards more it's more bricky at the same time but if you manage to put two, for example, two waylays on the bottom of your deck, um, you know, Vanadine becomes a very valuable asset in um, thinning. Although it kind of like, it increases the cards you have left in your deck, but those cards that you don't want to play will be at the bottom of your deck. So, yeah, we're running Guerrilla Tactics here. I think Guerrilla Tactics is a more of a, um, um, how should I say? It's a more non-bricky version. Because the, for example, the Precision Strike version force you to play um, additional two Broccoline Sentinel in your deck. So that's two additional cards that you don't want to draw. But with Guerrilla Tactics, um, usually you want to play Milva, the Sharp Shooter. And it's only one additional card that you, that you don't want to play from your hand. So yeah, um, it's not that terrible. <laughs> and especially, you know, it's roughly playing it's not really the same value but with melva and guerrilla tactics um it's more flexible for example you could use um a guerrilla tactics for a simply four points of removal um and you have three charges so you know you could just use one and you don't need to use every um every single uh, every charge every single charges on your leader ability to remove a unit which i think is really really good um, more consistent and more flexible it is what you want um, unfortunately it costs more provision I mean that's the price you gotta pay for it right it's more convenient more flexible and more provision um, which you know I think is pretty pretty worth it and here we're playing Arendite here uh, simple because you know we're playing the um, different chariot with the dwarf berserker these two guys are just a lot of points. You play Dwarf and Chariot, um, it's immediately 7 points on board. And then you play the Dormant Berserker, it's gaining 1 points per turn. Uh, and a random damage 1 per turn. Very nice. We're running 1 Squirrel here. It says attack to remove Echo cards or cards that could be resurrected from opponent's graveyard. Um, Ornn Sensor, a very villain card. This card has proven to be the evil the most evil card of the um of the recently released card so far more than arendite more than golden necker and siri because this card is just so good if you manage to get the value on this card it's just you know you win the round essentially you just win the round button <laughs> that's really all there is to it and yeah we're playing one master craft of spear here uh, master craft spear i think it's very good tech cards right now it's six damage so you don't really need to run muzzle to deal with six um, power units. For example, um, Fault of Sprite, 
uh, as I said before, Fault Sprite and uh, Radovid. You can just play the Master Craft Spear and boom, they're gone. Very nice um, because you know, with our little ability, we could only use it for four damage at the max, a maximum of four damage. So yeah. Um, running making a bomb, two making a bomb here, um, I think making a bomb, I, I really like the control aspect, aspect of Milva, like, sometimes you might break the making, like, you might not be able to bring back the Milva because, you know, most of the time, it's not, you won't have any one power enemy units, and, um, making a bomb deals six damage, it's five damage if Milva comes out, and you need to have one power unit to uh, use the death blow ability on Milva. And you know, usually it's not gonna happen. So, ideally, we wanna only keep one of these <coughs> in um, our, our hand because it might get really awkward with Milva. But yeah. And we're running the Cat Witcher Saboteur. Um, this card has. I see less people running this card on the Guerrilla Tactic list with Milva. I think that's such a shame because this card is actually really really good. It's a base 5 for 5 if your opponent doesn't have any units to play and if you have Milva and even if opponent only has one unit on each of their row, this card is still playing for a 6 because uh, I think it got changed, it got kind of like buffed I guess. Um, if, if, if it's already leftmost position, for, so for example only one unit in a row or you um, chose a target that's on the leftmost side of the of the row, of enemy row. Um, it damages by one, although it doesn't bring out the Milva, but it damages it by one. So yeah, this card is really good. Uh, also, of course, combined with Milva, this becomes an increasingly um, dangerous threat for Mr. Opponent. It's a very controlly list, which I really like. And uh, we're playing uh, two armors workshop here. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We just you know, if we break our waylay, we kind of want to use Simulus onto the Armor's Workshop. And playing the Armor's, uh, Armor's Workshop is not really that bad of a play either. Because, you know, boost 3 adjacent units by 2 and give them 2 armor. If you count the... because Dwarf Berserker wants the armor, it translates to 2 points of damage. Um, it essentially becomes a 12 points for 5. It is really not bad. <laughs> And yeah, I, think, I guess that's pretty much it. We're running on a Romancy. We don't run a Royal Decree because you don't have the space for it. Just run on your Romancy, you know, pretty standard. Not running the on Romancy, gonna feel really bad. But yeah. So ideally, because we don't play Alyssa here, we're not really gonna play the Waylays in round one. We're just gonna play the Venadane and that's it. <laughs> it's a seven point tempo, which is actually not bad. It's, you know, it's, it's not bad, you know. Especially when opponents kind of like, uh, kind of like think that you know we're gonna play our way late to get uh, maybe they're gonna lock the Venadane, um, you know, just thinking that oh this is gonna give like nine uh, three extra value to our waylays that we're gonna play. We don't need to play the waylays because you know we don't really want to play Alyssa. I favor um, Master Crafted Spear and two which is Saboteur um, over Alyssa. I think that's pretty much it for the tech introduction. There's really nothing else much to say about it. It's like it looks pretty strong, but you you know my luck with Skoyatel decks. Um, I'm just gonna break them all day, every day. That's fine, completely fine. Uh, really, Skoyatel decks um, power level depends on the person. Sometimes you just break all their cards, and sometimes you just don't, and you just gotta pray that oh, I'm not gonna break my Vaylee or I'm gonna, I'm not gonna break my Milva. But yeah, I'm very excited to play this. Skoytel has not really been my most like powerful faction to play. I don't know. It's just me. I just break everything. Even though like I try to be con like I try to be I try to make my decision as conscious as possible. Trying to, you know, keep my thinning card um, for my important stuff on all the all the jazz, but yeah, I mean we'll see, we'll see. Alright, really excited to try this out and we'll see how it goes. Alright, so now we're up against, oh, Pinister Maneuver, it might be a um, Priestess deck, but luckily here, we got the blue coin, and blue coin means that um, we can make a bomb into their stuff, and it should be good. So Squirrel is very good, they might play AA, 
I don't want to mulligan this way. It's really good. Mm, it's really good for us. Um, yeah, this hand looks pretty nice. I guess it's just a dwarf on the skirmish here. Okay. So what's our target here? The waylay and um I guess I could have, I should have kept the Milova because I'm going to Mulligan that away either way. Um Maybe it's fine to play the Dwarf and Chariot first. They kind of want to get the value on the thingy. It's one point per turn, so, you know, we might want to play the Making a Bomb next. So the reason why I decided to mulligan away the Milva is because I kind of don't want to... If I kept the Milva, I'm going to be forced to... Oh, that's a heat wave used and later charge used. I left my card. Oh, is this um? He wants to get ahead. I feel like that's what he's insinuating. Um. Okay, maybe I should just mulligan the squirrel away. I guess it's making a bomb. Alright. What you gonna do now? See. Okay, so that's a multi-generator deck. I think I'm gonna pass next. I most likely will pass next. I don't really want to give them the value of Muta Generator. This also doesn't feel like a Siege deck. They they don't have the provision for a Siege deck, I feel like. They played Roach and Heatwave. They have Sunset Wanderer, so... Siege is a 14 provision card, guys. They have 9 provision here and nine pro, uh, 10 provision here. I don't think they're gonna have Siege. Like, I'm not afraid of getting Blade at all. So it's um It's a wanderer's deck, right? I mean it's um Traveling Priestess deck. How important is it to bleed them? I'm I really I'm really lost. Uh, the thing is I don't really want to give them the value of Muta Generator. I could try and kill this. I think that's more important. I don't really want to give them carry over.
Can we do this? It's really weird. One, two. I'm not sure, guys. Like, I have a feeling I should bleed them. Oh, this is um the worst thing. We we'll hit two armors. I mean, we'll see, right? I feel like bleeding them is correct, but kind of weird. We got their fault, pride. I kind of want to play making a bomb. Mm. We'll see, we'll see. At least on brick. <laughs> okay. Done brick, mate. Okay, that's fine. I think I'm still gonna use Whaley. Because we have Ornate Sensor, right? Like, last say is kind of important, but we could get a card here if they decided to push. They have um, Sunset Wonders here. And if they don't decide to push, I think we're still pretty fine. I don't think Muted Generator deck wants to run Boiling Oil because they want to play as much units as they want, as they can. So I don't think they're going to have Boiling Oil. They might have a lock. In that case, I'm pretty fine going to a long run here. If they bleed us, we might lose on the Arendite value. But as, lo as long as we kept this, it'll be fine. There's the Ice Thread. I'm not gonna click it. I'm just gonna play Making a Bomb. Pretty easy play. So if they pass here, um, I think I'm just gonna play Oni Romancy into something. Okay. So we still have Zoltan's company, and we still have another Oni Romancy. So it should be fine for us to just play the Zoltan Warrior here and um, cap the Munro. It might have been correct to just use Arendite, but with Munro, if they don't um, use one draw here, we could just um, Guerrilla Tactics into killing it, which is really nice. We're gonna play the Zoltan Warrior next if they play another unit. Oh, I draw. Yeah, that's really bad. Okay. One, two, three. We don't really want Melova in our deck. Don't really want that. I guess fine doing this. Hopefully they don't play Surrender though. That would suck. 
No surrender, please. That's pretty good for us. That's really good. So we're still ahead with this. Pretty nice. Okay, they're trying to bleed us, which is fine, you know, it's fine. No big deal. You can just chill. Don't really want to play the Munro here. So, I think it's fine to play it for the Berserker here. That's fine. I really want to get their um, Sunset Wonders out. If I could get the Thunder Wizard, I'm fine with trading the Ornate Sensor. Yes. So they don't have any more leader charge, they don't have any other um, Siege Master, so we should be fine with um, the, keeping the Ornate Sensor here. Should be fine. Nice, nice. Alright, we didn't break, which is a miracle! Fuck! Oh, we did not break, guys! Amazing! Alright, no surrender, please. We have lost save, right? Should be good. Should be fine. I hope. Okay, so if I use the moon row now, this is gonna get to 3 power. They might play something melee. And I'm gonna be forced to use making a bomb here. And they will, like, I might get this to one power. And that's not ideal. Maybe it's fine. I kind of want to use this on his um, Tridem if possible. If possible. If not, then, you know, that's fine. Okay.
So I have one more draw here. Pretty good. Pretty good hit. Don't hit this one, please. Cool. Killing their one powered units give us more Arendite value. Very nice. They didn't use the Karasarn yet. So this is 12 damage, Waylay is 12 damage, should be fine doing this. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Maximum Arendite value, maximum Ornith Sensor value. Very nice. Oh. What do you think, guys? Is it Ornit Sensor Lasse? Say? It has to be at least 4, right? If it's at least 4, I'm pretty fine doing this. It's at least 4. Wait, he had Griffin with your mentor. Okay. It's at least 5 points, right? So. Ornate Essential should be fine here. And we got it in the bag. Out of here. Oh. Kurisatina. Kurisatina. Um, it's a name from Steinsgate, I believe. 
but yeah i got into the bag very nice um almost got bled there pretty hard but managed to get in the bag pretty cool pretty amazing let's move on to the next game all right um, this game we were up against uh imprisonment milf guard uh controlish kanadak and we got blue coin again a uh, very thankful uh, hey, this guy might be playing a sea deck but we shall see we shall see oh this hand is pretty interesting to say the least i almost want to mulligan away the munro i feel like it's fine to not do so hmm one to one two of you oh the similar's here okay i need to mulligan away some cards please okay not really the cards i want to mulligan away but that's fine i like playing this first over vanadine Simply because it allows us to play the Dwarf Berserker. Oh! A Maddock list! Okay, it's a Maddock Imprisonment. It's pretty interesting. Okay. Um. This card again? Alright. I don't want to last. Okay. Let's make him believe that we have um, a squirrel. Make them play one more bomb. Gonna play another bomb, sir. I have squirrel. That's why I did it. Hey, hitting the one. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Do it again. Do it again. All right, sir, do you have another bomb? <laughs> That's really funny. Alright, sir. What well, do you have one more bomb? Hmm? God damn it. Um So I almost want to play Milva here. Okay, if I pass here. If I pass here though. Click, click, damage four, one, three. So, um, assuming he has the one other bomb, this might be a day version. No way, right? I think I'm good with mulliganing these two cards away. Actually, is it Ornithenser? I think it might be Ornithenser. So he's gonna play Letho, or he's gonna play the um, the damage first. Okay, the Red Haze. Red Haze is out, and he killed the 7, which I don't really mind. So the red haze is out. Like I was pretty fine with that. Cause I was looking to pass, right? What am I looking at here? Am I fine with pulling one more card? Like Letho right now is not enough, right? They need to use one little charge. I don't think it's a unitless deck. They played most of their specials already. I should pass here. All right. That's a left flower, it's not enough. You're gonna use one leader charge. Alright. We got one leader charge out of this guy. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh no. See, this is why I don't play Skoyatel. This kind of stuff happens. And I can't do anything about this. 
It's just destined to... It's just, I cannot stop this. I cannot stop this. And I'm gonna draw the Milva. The, guys, I'm so ready. I'm gonna draw the Milva. Okay. This is, this is the sweet stuff, right? This is the sweet stuff. Okay, thank god. <laughs> um, that's fine. I'm gonna banish you. Because you're not cool. But thankfully, we have the backup with Armor's Workshop. Oh, this is um the uh, Illusionist Maddock. Okay. We're gonna have a lot of armor. Hmm. It's kind of bad for us. Oh well. I think it's worth it to just use all of our leader charge here, honestly. Like I, we ran out of time. Like I wasn't quite sure what we're supposed to do there. I think there was a mistake. This draw heart sauce really bad. <sighs> Imagine if one of these was at least like Arendite, Mastercraft Sphere, or Zoltan Warrior. We could have done so many plays there. Can't even do that. They're still gonna have the this bomb, so I don't think I can play Zoltan yet. Can play this though. Second one. I'm afraid of Dancing Star. They have to keep the, get the Dancing Star. And they still have one leader charge. I have to play the Moon Ro the Warrior now. Damage here and here. Gets us ahead. But at what cost, right? I just hope that we don't break the waylays next round. Within our Milva way, so should be less chance of us breaking. Should be, <laughs> but I'm not quite sure. Like I'm totally fine with playing the Monroe here. Because ideally Ideally, we're gonna have Simlas coming, so <laughs> should be fine. I, I hope. Maybe. <laughs> Golly, I hope. I sure hope I don't break my stuff. Not great. 
great. There was an argument, like, I don't think, like, the chance of us drawing, like, one is Zoltan Company and Zoltan's Warrior is very low. So at this point, I think I'm just gonna, you know, have as much value for my Arendite as much as possible. I think that's gonna be my strat. Rather, like, keeping a card and having the Arendite value is gonna be pretty valuable. It's going to be pretty valuable for us. Okay. That's a decree. I mean, we have Ornate Sensor and this at the bottom of our deck, right? I mean... Maybe we can bait them into playing one card, one more card, maybe? Maybe. Wait, it both hit the armor? Okay. Wow. Great. It both hit the armor. What? It was supposed to. What? Okay. Cool. We're just gonna draw it. 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 We're just gonna draw it, Dan. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Look, we're gonna have a tons of armor. Armor value. Oh, is that gonna kill one of these? Mistakes. Try again. Probably fine. Eh. Armor. Armor. Alright. What you gonna do now? We have armor for days. Losing a card there was pretty unfortunate, but we'll see. They shouldn't have much left though. Maybe they have like heat wave or something. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, played the one from Ramon, one from Hand. They might still have another one. Might be worth it to play the Arendite now because we don't have Lasse anyway. Don't really want to damage the armor. What are the last two cards? Not really sure. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I should have. I should have, I should have, man. I should have killed this. Okay, whatever. Whatever. It's just like one point. It's one point. Doesn't matter. Still gonna win. It's fine. It's one point, guys. This is one point. This is one point. Sheesh. Armor value. Sheesh. Very nice. Alright, um, another win. This deck is pretty strong. Pretty strong. Even even when we lost the card there in round two, we still managed to get it in the bag. Very nice. Deck pretty strong. Let's move on to the next game. Alright, and now we're up against Devotion Skelligate Warrior. And we're blue coin again. Oh my god, guys. Is this for real? I've not, like, we, we haven't, like, hard bricked yet. And we haven't lost the coin toss yet. Oh wow. This is amazing. Don't want two of you. Um, I think it's fine to mulligan on the making bomb away. It's a blaze of glory. So making bomb won't be good until like later rounds. It's fine. Okay, Highland Warrior getting that armor value for them, which is very good. I think Ornit Sensor is going to be useful against their leader, right? We'll win this round. Probably. This looks very nice. This looks very nice. It's almost scary. Looks very nice. It's almost eerie. Okay, I think they're just going for the carry overplay. And I'm going to do the same. Carry overplay. Hey. Alright. Going to a long round, eh? I think I sh we should bleed them, right? Just bleed them, kind of like, kind of like bleed them to get that Arendite value because of their devotion and stuff, you know? We should bleed them. Actually, we should 2 of them. Actually? Actually, I don't know. So we have no way of breaking the waylay here. Which is pretty insane when you think about it. Wait, what? Didn't we mulligan away too? Hello? Oh god. We used on your romancy. Oh god. Okay. So there are a couple of lines of play we could do here. We could pass and lose some Arendite value, which I don't really like. We could play the Cat with your Saboteur here. Wait. I have a better plan. What if we just bleed them we can't even play simless for effective for, for effectively play some it's pretty bad it's gonna play one let's play one dude we are going to break <sighs> this is not good so they have uncrate warrior here which they like they could use um rage like what was that Oh god. I cannot. I cannot. I legit cannot. I cannot play. <laughs> this, is, 
<laughs> this is so sad. This is so bad. We're forced to go to a long run, aren't we? Unless... Dude, I have to bleed them here. Right? They're gonna have Herald. I don't know, dude. I just hope I don't brick. I'm just gonna hope that I don't brick. I'm just gonna hope. I'm just gonna pray. Fingers crossed. Let's go. One is like the most I can go for. I, I cannot, dude. I cannot, man. I cannot. <sighs> I, I cannot. This is, this is gonna be really. <sighs> That's a skill check. Skill check. Skill check. Okay, one skill check. Okay, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, one skill check. One skill check. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, Nero, Manasi, Munro. Okay, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need Munro though. Okay. I have like, okay, what's the worst thing here? What's like the worst thing? <gasps> skill check? Oh my God, skill check. Thank goodness I didn't use that one card. Oh my God, actual skill check. Look at this, guys. I cannot believe it. What? You were? Shouldn't be able to do this, right? Do this. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there, Bruderman. I bet you the plate is melee, but but oh dido, Carl. Oh, where's my making a bomb, dude? Good morning. Can I come play with you today? Please. I mean, I have to kill this, right? This is a magic compass version if they're running all this thing. Maybe it's devotion. The skill check, guys, I cannot believe we passed the skill check. We actually passed the skill check. That's insane. We actually managed to pass it. Damage. Sure. More, more, more. 
more value. Give me more. More value. Is it five damage? It's five damage. Oh shoot. More. Uh, should we split the blue? The, the boost. The boost. They don't have any. Oh, they still have one more War of Clans. It's five damage. So. Sure. Should be good here. Should be nice and steady. Comes a heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom spaghetti. It's a crime. Should be fine. Right. I mean, we don't even need the Ornate Center value, right? Don't even need them. Who needs them? Not me. Okay, assuming they're gonna play Ice next. They're gonna have two bloodthirst. I'm doing this. <clears throat> They're gonna play the only romance next into Simulus and um, Lasse Arndite. I think that's that's fine. We don't need to keep the Ornate Sensor here. I like getting extra value with the Arndite. And keeping the Ornate Sensor would mean that we have to play the Simlas now. And I'd like to also keep Simlas to be able to kill his um, units or stuff. Uh, that's the Iced. Leader. And we're gonna kill the Ice now. Very straightforward. I think it's fine to just kill the um the stuff. With a sixteen, a maximum value arandite. Look at that. All right, who needs ornate sensor when you have this? Pretty good. Let's go. Seventeen value arandite. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious, baby. Well, yeah, it's actually quite close. Um, I was expecting it was like 20 points apart, maybe like 25 points apart. But we passed the skill check. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we passed the skill check at that round three. It was very nice. So yeah, anyway, it was a pretty exciting match. Pretty exciting. Oh, my, I cannot believe I didn't break a single. I mean, I kind of break in the second game, but second game. But I can't believe, like, we had no, like, actual breaking part. Oh my god, that was, it was like, oh, that was so awesome. Actually drawing your gold. <laughs> pretty, pretty nice. Um, but yeah, pretty exciting match. Deck is just too strong. Can't lose. And yeah, uh, I guess that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe, and comment what you think down in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.